Our punk opera, Borstal Boy, tells a true story of my brother Michael and I, who were true mods in the 60s, but became criminals. This opera was designed to be performed in the prisons of the UK. We were sent to prison for malicious wounding and carrying a firearm without a license. The story tells of my life in Canterbury Prison, Wormwood Scrubs and Dover Borstal, and my redemption after a bad experience on LSD, as told in my book Converted on LSD, and its special edition for prison inmates called Borstal Boys. Borstal Boy Opera emphasises the fact that Michael, my elder brother, had a powerful influence over me, an influence that was not for good. Borstal Boy Mod Musical tells the story of my brother Michael and I, Mick Clark. He was a first generation mod and a child born after World War II ended in 1946. He died in New Bilibid Prison in May 2005. By 1964, Michael had already served time in Oxford Detention Centre for actual bodily harm. Then again, for a crime that I can't remember, and then in Rochester Borsal for stealing cars. He was then sent to Mason Prison, that was home of one of the Crays, and I was sent to Dover Borsal because I was just 17 years old. Borsal Boy Opera tells of my downward descent into crime, and then of my redemption, on the 16th of January 1970. But Borstal Boy Mob Musical tells of my brother's life that was unaffected by my life change. That was told as headline news in Aylesbury's Bucks Herald paper on the 11th of February 1971. He continued his flamboyant lifestyle and eventually died of tuberculosis in New Bilibid Prison after serving 10 years of a 16 year prison sentence. Borstal Boy Mob Musical starts with ITN's national headline TV news bulletin telling of Michael's arrest in the Philippines in 1995 and his eventual 16-year prison sentence. This story tells of the good that came out of our lives despite our criminal pasts and the good work that we were able to do in the largest prison in Asia's Far East, which is New Bilibid Prison, the National Penitentiary of the Philippines. It also offers hope and gives direction to help others. This story is told in our joint book, Trojan Warriors and God Willing, a third musical.